Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty bad though. The old, the old one. Okay. Oh no, this is just a race. This is the beach here. No, you don't have to draw this. I'm doing all this to illustrate a point, so to speak. Okay. I'm going to kick off with a bit of art business. Art business. So, what I want you to do is imagine here we've got a big race happening. Got a lot of people here, got some fit bastards here, got some older people here. This guy's got his leg in plaster, so he's just, you know, hobbling along. And at the end here, we've got somebody in a walking uh, assist frame. Imagine that these guys here want to be professional athletes and to do it they have to get at least third place. Imagine you're in this race, where would you be? Oh. <laughs> I know I'd be probably yeah. here somewhere. Yeah, it's me too. No, I don't run. Well they're walking. And this, well yeah, I mean being ten you can walk it. You're not going to probably get first place walking it, but you can walk it. And some people, you know, scoot ahead and then get exhausted and can't finish. Yeah. So imagine this is your art journey. Your art journey, just like a athlete, you have to train, you have to exercise to get good at art. Imagine, well, you want to be an artist. How many thousands of people want to be artists? So imagine this. This is a race of thousands. You just put more people running back here. Just imagine this. Thousands of people here all trying to run the same race. This is thousands of artists. Well, everybody wants to be an artist. Thousands of artists. What do you do to get at least that place in this race as an artist? It's like the Bernie Tens is a sea, by the way. A little starfish there. There we go. Rocks. So it's a lovely little setting. So the problem is, you know, everybody wants to be an artist. Only very few make it to be an artist. And where am I in this race? If I'm in this race, oh, I'm probably, as an artist, I'm probably in the middle here somewhere. I mean, I've got okay skills. So I'm kind of okay. I can get by. I'm certainly not to Leonardo's standard or anything like that. So then you get there and think, well, it's, it's not... It's not really fair. When you first start and you're just you're starting out and you've got skills that aren't that good, you're probably at the back here somewhere. But even if you have got really good skills, you're still about here. There's always these bastards here are always better than you. And so, I'll tell you what I'd do. I get out of there, I walk down to the beach, <laughs> draw a line in the sand there, walk all the way over here, draw a line in the sand here, this is the finish line here. And I would <laughs> just run by myself. There you go, beard flowing behind. I run by myself. Do you reckon I'm going to win the race? There's no one else in the race. Cool. I take first place. How's that? 
That's what you call finding a niche market. That's probably one of the most important things I could teach you is don't run this race. Everybody is, say, look at the Glover for example. And that's like this race. Everybody is applying paint to canvas. Some of the ones that win are not applying paint to canvas, they are applying paint to something else. So my little journey was that, here I am, a little self-portrait of self-running. I had, uh, I was just going along trying to be an illustrator for a while. And the illustration game is a bit like this as well. But there's one thing that's really good about art is it doesn't always reward the most skillful. Because usually the most skillful <coughs> are probably terrible at business. It puts them back here. Those who are good at business are probably down here. So I was going along as an, uh, as an illustrator, struggling, really struggling. And to the point where I ended up being on the dole. Did a little business course. They taught me about SWOT analysis and niche market. So I got there and, well, what are my skills? I can screen print really well. I love wildlife. I can illustrate. <coughs> Throw those together. Wildlife Illustrator that illustrates on t-shirts. Down the beach here, this is a beach whale. Not feeling too good. That's my competition. Big company putting out crappy t-shirts. I come along, enthusiastic, love wildlife, love to illustrate. Their illustrations were so-so because they farmed it out to somebody who doesn't care about wildlife. I love wildlife. Bang. I had the means to print whatever I want. Didn't have to go for a board or a committee. I won that race pretty easy. So find your niche. And this is why it's really good that you're doing 3D work and 2D work. Because in any one of those, if you can find something that nobody else is doing, and sometimes com combining things. So if you can combine your drawing skills with your printing skills, or your drawing skills with your uh, ceramic skills, you're getting, you're multi-skilled, and even though you're not, like they say, a jack of all trade, master of none, a jack of all trade is pulling things out, creating a unique um, object or product, and that's how you win. Questions? <laughs> Did that make sense? Yeah. Good. All right. Well, that was easy. We're going on to the next one. <laughs> I think it's good to think about this first up because if you can sort of think or have an idea what niche you can fit into, it will then influence how you design stuff, what you design stuff for. Uh, 